Producers equilibrium. Producers equilibrium can be discussed in terms of marginal cost and marginal revenue. According to this approach, for the firm to be in equilibrium, two conditions are to be satisfied. Marginal cost must be equal to marginal revenue. Marginal cost must be increasing. We shall use graphic approach to understand this. Marginal cost and marginal revenue are measured along the y-axis and output along the x-axis. Since perfect competition is prevailing in the product market, the marginal revenue curve is horizontal and parallel to x-axis. The firm's marginal revenue behavior is governed by the marginal revenue curve. Whatever be the output, the marginal revenue will remain the same. We shall turn to the cost behavior of the firm. It is given by the marginal cost curve. It is a U-shaped curve. As the firm expands its output, marginal cost diminishes to begin with. After reaching the minimum, it starts increasing. We have both the curves on the same graph. On examination, we can find the first order condition that is marginal cost equal to marginal revenue is satisfied at two points. They are B and E. Of the two, at which point the producer will be in equilibrium? To find it out, we have to apply the second order condition. At B, marginal cost is diminishing. At E, the marginal cost is rising. Only point E satisfies the second order condition. That is, at point of equilibrium, marginal cost must be increasing. Hence, our conclusion is, firm is in equilibrium at point E. Its equilibrium output is N. Equilibrium price is P. As the two conditions are satisfied at point E, firm's profit is also maximum. The blue color area shows this. The area that lies below marginal revenue curve and above marginal cost curve is profit. If the producer produces less than N, say L, he cannot be in equilibrium because Marginal cost is less than marginal revenue. His marginal cost is LH. His marginal revenue is LF. He cannot maximize his total profit. There is still scope for him to maximize his profit. Look, the blue color profit area shrinks. If he produces more than the equilibrium output, N, say K units, marginal cost becomes greater than marginal revenue. His marginal cost is Kg, marginal revenue is Kr. The area bound by REG is loss incurred by the firm. 
It means when the firm's output exceeds the equilibrium output, the loss eats away a part of its profit. So, the firm is in equilibrium when it equates its marginal cost with marginal revenue. At the point of equilibrium, the marginal cost curve must cut the marginal revenue curve from below.